Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's still Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. This is 2020. Uh, I am the Drunk Poker, tis beer time. Now listen, it's, it's, it's uh, taking down Christmas decorations today. I hate doing it. It makes me sad, because you know what? It's bright and shiny for like a month and a half in the winter, and then it's just January, February, March, April. So we just got to get through this. We can do this together by drinking great beer from... Omnipolo, brewed at Brunswick Beer Works in uh, Toronto, uh, comes Nebuchadnezzar, an 8.5%, 100 IBU double IP. Now, I had this many, many moons ago. I haven't had it since. Uh, relatively fresh, I believe. Uh, yeah, November. And, and honestly, raise up. All right, got it. Rise up. Uh, November for this style of is not that old. This is, we're not, this is not a, a hazy, a soft IPA. This is not a softly better IPA. This is a big old boozy bastard, from what I remember. Um, I hope your day's going well. Mine's going well. I was supposed to get a lot more done today, but I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes when you get one day off in a week, you just kind of veg a little and do some personal things. I hung up with Jinx. You know, she's going to be 20 this year. Uh, that's old for a cat. And she's got her moments. Uh, we turned the basement basically into her whole area that she has for herself. I give her whatever she wants. So I spent some time with her today just hanging out. She'd come and sit with me for a while. She'd go sleep for a while. We'd give her something to eat. This is what I do on my day off. And you know what? I'm grateful for every single moment. Our furry companions, our, our, our furry children, call them, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's call them our best friends. So, yeah, it's nice to spend some time with her and some beers. Orange, grapefruit, pith, pine. I, I, I vaguely remember this, um, but I was excited to see it. And that, that's good with that. Cheers, my friends, to, to big old boozy bastards on a Tuesday afternoon. Cheers. See, when I bought it, and I only bought one, I thought to myself as I'm going up to the front of the LCBO, I'm like, self? It's like, that's how I say, self? Should you have bought two of those? Should have bought two. It is a classic leaning into West Coast IPA. Uh, there is a bit of a, a, a the toasted malt body underneath. There's some candied uh, candied citrus sweetness to it, but it is orange and grapefruit pith, um, resinous pine, bitter, big, bold, and bitter on the back end. This is an unapologetically hoppy beer, which is exactly what I enjoy. This is the funny thing. Like, we just had a really big, hazy IPA that I'm literally considering as a candidate for beer of the year. It was a beautiful, beautiful beer. And then we turn around and go the exact opposite way when it comes to IPAs, and we went to a big piney, resinous, pithy beer. I love them both. It's not a dichotomy. It's not a... Uh, you have to appreciate each beer for what it is. This is why Donna won beer of the year last year. Why a Pilsner was my most memorable beer. Because it's, it, it is a combination of the beer itself and what it does for you. You know, what it, what it delivers to you. So that's where we are today. This is a fantastic beer. Look for it at your local LCBO. It's got a sweet can. And, I mean, at the, L, at the ABV of 8.5, 100 IBU... This is not a this is not a, a shrinking violet of beer. This is a serious, serious IPA, and it brings a smile on my face. Cheers, my friends. I gotta go make dinner. This folks gonna be home soon, and if dinner's not on, well, nothing's gonna happen because we're adult adults, and you know we discuss things. But uh, I would feel bad because I'm off today, and I should have dinner going when she gets home. Barbecue pork chops, big old IPAs, and a happy, happy man. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your day. You know what? Old school. Old school and beautiful. 